Man, I can't wait for that. Did you, did you take my vanilla ice cream? Ryan, there's two things in life you don't mess with. One of them is a man's vanilla ice cream. Hey, what's up, it's Chris Young. Standing inside the exclusive to Camping World Campsite Reserve 26 CJ. Now, this floor plan, you're looking at 32 feet, nine inches, roughly 6,800 pounds dry. This is the vanilla floor plan of family RVs. The super slide, double bunk, bathroom on the campsite. So how did they improve on the vanilla? Well, I'll show you, but think style, form, function, storage. Right away, we're gonna be right here on the campsite in the kitchen area. L-shaped kitchen, press surface countertop with the rounded edges, and I love how they gave me this raised spot here. Great for setting up plants, making it a buffet, or getting some stools and making this like a little mini breakfast nook. Notice that you got a great spot for the bowl for the dog dish, a trash can spot right here, and pantry space. The campsite reserves are all about storage and space, and you have a ton of it. As soon as you walk in, you'll see the space around you. You also got USB-C, USB-A charging here. Your main command panel to run out the slides, check your tanks, you got a 40 gallon fresh, 28 gallon gray, 38 gallon black tank on this one, and you got tank heaters. They also improved on airflow and light thanks to the giant square windows. We got square windows in our house, why not in our RVs? Now you do. You even got more storage space up top thanks to the hangers in the light box. Pans, coffee mugs, hats, flip flops. Gotta have a flip flop when you're in the kitchen. Exactly. Press surface countertop giving you tremendous prep space over here. Undermounted stainless steel sink with a high rise faucet, bamboo cutting board and drying rack. And check out my sprayer. Not only here, but also here. You wanna clean the cups? That's a great way to rinse them out. They also gave you more storage by finally maximizing on the space that's in the kitchen. How about a solid wood flat door with the matte black pulls? You're gonna see that all the way throughout the coach. Kinda of reminds me of the European styling. And for your kitchen drawers, full extension drawer guides, matte black pulls, and yes, your campsite reserve also comes with a water filtration system, something that you do not see on a lot of coaches. You also got a high output ducted AC that is Bluetooth and has the dehumidifier built in. Very nice little feature. Prep space here continues with the flush mounted three burner cooktop glass cover, doubles as a backsplash, and you have the contour convection microwave. So don't need the oven when you have this, it's two in one. And if you do happen to be cooking something that's getting off a lot of the bad smells, bacon, whatever, you got the max vent van here, which moves about a foot of air per second. Also helps kind of keep the coach a lot cooler. They've given you the upgraded acrylic front French door fridge freezer combo, which you probably saw at the beginning when I was looking for my vanilla ice cream. Ryan, 10.2 cubic foot, it is 12 volts, so it'll run as you go down the road. Now the off camp side across from the kitchen is gonna be your booth dinette, at least here in the rear half of the slide. Extra large panoramic windows, square once again, solid wood balance, you got the side curtains there to give it that nice aesthetic, plush and comfortable overstuffed cushions, great spot to enjoy those camp quick meals, play the card games, whatever, but the campsite reserves give you something that's much needed, especially in a bunk model, cavernous storage. Drawers on both sides that are huge. And to continue on that, because they know it's a family RV, you need storage, more importantly, you need it organized. Why not give you the bin organizers right here at the edge of the double over double bunks? Space that is often underutilized inside bunk model RVs. Got your HVAC controls right there, solid ladder mounted, double over double bunks, curtains, USB charging, 110, square windows, mushroom lights, what have you not seen? Finally, storage that'll help us keep everything organized. Absolutely love it. Camp conveniences of what the campsite reserve is all about. For example, right under your fridge is gonna be your voltage meter. If you get in here, try to run the slide out and you think, oh, why is the slide not going? You look down, it's 11.7. Obviously your battery doesn't have enough juice, you need more power. But having that there, easily accessible, great little feature. You know what else is nice? Speaking of accessible, the second access point in the bathroom. Check it out. And here we are in the main bathroom of the 26CJ. I got my angled vanity here with the oversized sink, 
extra large medicine cabinet, tankless water heater, more storage underneath, plus my access point. Both of the doors on the 26 CJ are the tempered tinted glass. Very nice feature. High rise plastic bowl with the foot flush. I'm not really cramped. Being 6'2", 225. And step into the shower. I got the tub surround, corner notches. The skylight gives me the additional headroom, which makes this a little bit more comfortable. You're also gonna be happy because the Oxygenix brushed nickel shower head has pressurized topper on it, meaning you're not gonna spend as much water and it's gonna come out at higher pressure. And the tub surround means if you do have the kids or the dogs, you can clean them up without having to worry about splashing and spilling out into your slip resistant, easy to clean flooring. I mean, just absolutely awesome use of space. And having the access point in the bathroom, which is in a lot of bunk models, vanilla, but improving on it, uh, just means if the kids need to come and go, or if you need to come and go, user, you're not gonna be waking everybody up through, throughout the coach. Uh, what do you say we check out the entertainment center? Cause there's even more storage there. What am I talking about? You'll see. And right here in the angled entertainment center, which is right in front of your kitchen, you're gonna see your Bluetooth driven entertainment center. Streaming music plays both inside and outside. I was going to play some Glenn Campbell because Ryan doesn't like it and he ate my ice cream, but great for that. You can also Bluetooth into your AC. <laughs> Pretty sweet, right? Angled Entertainment Center here with the extra large TV, storage box for remotes, periodicals, and oversized contour fireplace. Multi flame setting, multi light, uh, probably about 5,000 BTUs of heat. But look at the additional space that you have thanks to the hidden pantry. This is the thing I like about the Camping World exclusive campsite reserve line. They maximize every corner, every angle, giving you either something aesthetically pleasing or some storage space. Lock that in, you're ready to go. Need additional sleeping space? Right across from that is going to be your jackknife sofa. Once again, under a large panoramic square window, wood balance, and side curtains. And oh yeah, you got storage under there too. Last but not least, the primary. Improving on the vanilla, which is that double over double bunk family RV, you get a king size walk around bed right up front. Camp King with the adjustable lights. I like these because you got the bright light. You also got the blue light if you don't wanna wake your partner up from reading. You got the flat front Euro styled cabinetry here for your storage up top. Flat front wards, but something nice about the campsite reserve, you got space on the top and the bottom. A lot of times you pretty much just got the top portion. Having that, extra storage space. CPAP machine over here on the campsite. If you do have one, you also got cubby storage over on the off campsite with USB and 110. But right here on the campsite, the campsite reserve gives you a inverted surge protection outlet. So if you want to plug in your cell phone, your laptop, your tablet, safe energy, and it's inverted because you have a 200 watt solar panel and a charge controller on this beauty. Love it. I'll show you this in a second. Storage underneath the Camp King, gotta have it. More organizational thanks to the storage bins that you have over here on your storage compartment there, just maximizing the space and the storage. TV, you got your power, you got your cable connection, and you got square windows on both sides for breeze and light. Now, let's see what it would look like if we close the slide. Is it turtle friendly? Let's find out. Yes, it is turtle friendly because you got the bathroom access, remember? And the fridge is right here. Okay, let's go outside. On the outside of the all-new Camping World exclusive Campsite Reserve 26CJ, you're going to find powered tongue jack up front with LED light, twin 20-pound LP tanks, battery box, and battery disconnect, all seated on the brand new X9 chassis, which is a super reinforced Think I-beam style chassis. You still got the stamped outriggers giving this thing tremendous support for this beautiful coach. Diamond plated rock guard, seamless one piece roof. Come around to the campsite. That's where you're gonna find, remember the cavernous storage on the inside, I love that term. Here we go with it on the outside as well. They even gave you hangers to help maximize that storage space. Now you got a great spot to hang the towels as well as the flip flops and your Crocs, why not? Solar charge controller is located there as well and it is passed through. But take a look at the graphics that we have on the campsite reserve. This is something, I haven't seen this style before, but I love how they have the siding and how it comes over. It is coated, you got the gray, the white, the maroon, just looks awesome. The other thing that looks awesome, how about every campsite reserve comes with the outside kitchen that has the griddle and the grill. 
Plus, you got the Contour fridge. If you don't know much about the Contour appliances, I had a chance to learn a little bit about them. They're upgraded higher-end RV appliances. Really am a fan of what they make there. Magnetic anti-slam luggage doors on everything outside of the campsite reserve. Right here and right here are great examples of the square windows. We have them in our homes. Why did it take RV manufacturers so long to give it to us in RVs? Plus, do you notice the metallic sheen that's on there? That's also going to help keep the coach a little bit cooler, as is the tempered tinted glass, both here on the main entry and in the bathroom. Steel fold-up steps, armored tank underbelly. What is that? It's an armored enclosure for the underside of your RV. You need to access anything on your campsite reserve. You just remove the panel. You don't have to take everything off. Add that to the fact that you also have 12 volt heated pads on your tanks. Makes this coach, especially at this price point, hey, that's a sweet spot. Double axle RV, got the aluminum rims, tire pressure monitoring, Dexter Easy Lubes on there. Awesome for carrying this coach. Paw mount for your TV and entertainment, outside speakers with cable and power black tank flush located right there quick stop jacks now every campsite reserve comes with the quick drop jacks what does that mean well back in the old days when you have to crank it all the way down now you just crank it a little bit and it drops down quickly hence quick drop four x four sewer hose storage bluetooth backup camera ladder prep right here on the rear and on the off camp side is where you're going to find there is storage under your bunk. I like this because cavernous storage, you gotta have it, so why not give you more on the outside? More of the square windows, floodlight for your fresh water connection, city water connection, external shower with hot and cold, as well as the back of your tankless water heater. With your terminations, remember, you got a 40 gallon fresh, 28 gallon gray, 38 gallon black capacities. Your dumps are right there. Slide right here, great shot of the square windows and the graphics that you're gonna get on the campsite reserve. Other side of the storage right here and your info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this coach actually weigh? At 68.88 dry, you're looking at 32 feet, nine inches. The gross vehicle weight on this one, 76.74. For a family that has been used to seeing the vanilla family bunkhouse floor plans. The double over double bunks, super slide, bathroom on the campsite with the entry point. We, we see it, we kinda like it, but something's been missing. The campsite reserve is what's been missing. They've added storage, they've added features, they've added amenities that you won't find in like RVs. And that's why I'm a fan of this one. Hopefully you are as well. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what did you think of the 26 CJ? What do you like, what do you not like? Where do you plan on taking it? And also, if, if you would, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. And if you say, Chris, we like this bunk model, uh, do you have a different one? Yes, I got another one in the campsite reserve that I think you're gonna like. Or if you're saying, hey, we realized uh, we like bunks, but do you have something that's maybe rear bath for the couple that might need to sleep the kids when they come visit? Campsite Reserve's got one for you there as well. I'll link both videos for you. Hope you enjoyed the 26 CJ because you can only find the Campsite Reserve at Camping World. And I'm Chris Young. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon.